in this question a sleeve of mass capital m which is 10 kg can slide on a horizontal frictionless rod a block of mass small m 2 kg is suspended at the midpoint of a light inextensible cord of length l which is 102.5 cm one end of which is attached to the sleeve and other to one end of the rod initially the sleeve is held at rest and the angle between the rod and a cord segment is theta is equal to theta naught this angle is initially theta naught which is sin inverse 0.8 as on the figure if a constant horizontal force f is equal to 50 newton is applied on this sleeve like this find its speed when the angle between the cord segments and the rod becomes theta is equal to sin inverse 0.6 so this is the initial situation so let us first make the diagrams for two situations when one is angle when the angle is theta naught initially and when the angle is in general theta and that theta is such that it is sin inverse 0 0.6 so let us make the diagram in two situations so let's say this is the rod here this is rod and uh, this point uh, of the uh, of the string is fixed so this point of the string is fixed and only the point which is attached to the sleeve here is moving so initially i'm assuming that the sleeve is somewhere here sleeve is somewhere here and uh, this point this point will be on the perpendicular bisector of uh, this part of the rod because this length and this length is equal so at each instant we will have an isosceles triangle this triangle will have two sides equal these two sides will be equal so let's say this is the midpoint and this point will lie on this line so let us draw these strings initially these are the strings and this is the sleeve here suppose after some time the sleeve is somewhere here this is the location of the sleeve after some time and now this is somewhere the midpoint so this is the midpoint and this point will move towards right and in the upward direction so this point will move towards right and in the upward direction so the triangle will become something like this suppose the triangle is now something like this suppose these are the chords I am re uh, removing these two lines. This angle is given as theta naught, and suppose this angle is some general angle theta. So this angle is theta, and this angle is also theta, and this angle is also equal to theta naught. So the mass is initially here, and finally the mass is here. Mass is shifted towards right and in the upward direction. So at any instant, this mass has velocity in the two direction one is horizontal and one is vertical so let us draw the velocities so one component will be like this and one component will be like this so it is moving in both the direction horizontal and vertical suppose the velocity of block in this direction is v1 and suppose uh, this is v2 in this direction and this sleeve is constrained to move along this rod only so it can move along this rod only suppose it is moving with velocity v along this rod so this is the velocity of this sleeve at this particular instant we have to find this velocity at this particular instant and to find this velocity we will have to apply the concept of work energy theorem work done by all the forces in the system is equal to change in kinetic energy so we have to apply work energy theorem to solve this but before that we must find the relation between v1 v2 and v 
because this is also variable this v1 and v2 are also variable here so let us first apply constraint relations to find the relation between v1 v2 and v so the diagram is something like this i am redrawing the diagram it is moving along horizontal with velocity v it is moving in this direction with velocity v1 and in this direction it is moving with velocity v2 this angle is theta so if i take uh, this segment of this string so on this segment from this string constant velocities of the bodies at the ends will have the same component along this string so this sleeve has velocity along this string in this direction and this component is equal to since this angle is theta so this component of velocity will be v cos theta so velocities at the ends will be same along this string and uh, we will have components of v1 and v2 along this string so for this segment of the string along this string velocity components are equal so this point has velocity v cos theta so this is v cos theta and this point has velocity or this block has velocity uh, v1 has component v, in this angle is also theta so v1 has component v1 cos theta and obviously this angle is 90 minus theta so v2 has component along this and this component is v2 sin theta so this is one of the equation if i take this segment for this segment this point is fixed so this point has zero velocity and obviously the component along this string will also be zero so for this point also the velocity component along this string should be zero so along this string velocity at the ends should be equal so this has zero velocity so this must have zero velocity along this string so from this condition now you can see this angle is also theta from this metric so this v2 this is 90 minus theta so this v2 has component along this string like this v2 sin theta and obviously this angle is also theta so this is v1 cos theta so for this point to have zero velocity along this string or this direction this v1 cos theta must be equal to v2 sin theta so v1 cos theta is equal to v2 sin theta this is my second equation so in equation 1 this is v1 cos theta and this is also equal to v1 cos theta so 2 v1 cos theta is equal to v cos theta i can write so 2 v1 cos theta can be written as v cos theta and from here we can write v1 is equal to v by 2 so one component is calculated and for v2 we can use this equation for v2 we can write v2 is equal to v1 cos theta by sin theta and what is the value of v1 v1 is v by 2 so this is v by 2 cos theta by sin theta so these are the two components and uh, for writing the kinetic energy of this mass uh, we have to find the net speed of this and net speed is under root v1 square plus v2 square so let us calculate the net speed of this block v1 square plus v2 square this is the net speed and just square and add this v by 2 will come out as common so this is 1 plus cos square theta divided by sin square theta and sin square theta plus cos square theta will be equal to 1 this is uh, 1 divided by sin square theta which is uh, 1 by sin theta this is v by 2 cosec theta so this is the net velocity of uh, this block v by 2 cosec theta so this block the lower block has velocity v by 2 cosec theta now i am going to apply the work energy theorem in this format work done by the external force on the system this is equal to change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy so i have written only the external forces and i am taking in my system both the blocks both the blocks and the strings i am taking all this in my system so tension will be some kind of internal force in this in this system and if tension is internal then net work done by the internal tension force is always zero so tension is doing no work here only the external work 
is work done by this force F work done by this force F this is only external work and for finding the work done by this force F we have to find this displacement and to find this displacement we have to use some trigonometry here uh, this total length is equal to L so individually this length is L by 2 and this length is L by 2 and again individually this length is L by 2 and this length is L by 2 so you can see this angle is theta naught so distance from here to here so distance from here to here is L by 2 cos theta naught again this is L by 2 cos theta naught so this total distance is L cos theta naught now you can find uh, this total distance from here to here and obviously this will be equal to L cos theta since angle is theta so this displacement is L cos theta minus L cos theta naught so this is the displacement and F multiplied by this displacement will give the work done by this force F what is the change in gravitational potential energy delta U so this is moving along horizontal so there is no change in gravitational potential energy of this block only the change is due to this smaller block mass m mass small m so what is the change in height of this uh, block so initially the height of this block is written as this uh, this is l by 2 and this height will be l by 2 sin theta naught so this is l by 2 sin theta naught and obviously this height will be equal to l by 2 sin theta so what is the change change is l by 2 sin theta naught minus l by 2 sin theta so let us write all these terms work done by external means work done by the force f and this force f multiplied by the displacement which is l cos theta minus l cos theta naught change in kinetic energy kinetic energy change is associated with these two blocks so this block is simply half capital M V square initially no kinetic energy of this block initially no kinetic energy of this block also this is half M and what is the net speed this is the net speed V by 2 cos sec theta and we have to square it so this is V square by 4 cos sec square theta so this is the overall change in kinetic energy of the system plus delta u delta u is change in potential energy and change in potential energy is due to this block only and what is the change in height of this block multiplied by mg so mg multiplied by change in height and change in height is l by 2 sin theta naught minus sin theta so from this equation we can easily find the velocity expression of velocity this expression of velocity will be equal to under root of this is 4L multiplied with this 2F from very easy manipulations we can easily write the expression for the final answer this is minus mg this term will go here so it will be minus mg multiplied by sine theta naught minus sine theta so this is the numerator and in the denominator we will have this capital M multiplied by 4 plus cosec square theta this is cosec square theta here so this is the answer and if you put the values in this so it will give us 1.2 meter per second so this is the final answer to this problem